Man, do something with it. Christ. from two yards out.
So it finishes AFC Russian Diamonds 2, Peterborough Northern Star 0. I'm now with the man of the match, a familiar face here on AFC RD TV again, Liam Dolman. Well played today, Liam. Yeah, cheers. It's, uh, I thought today was, was what we're about. We, it's a great team performance. We worked hard. Things weren't good. We missed chances, obviously, in the first half, which everyone knows about. But we've got it in our heads that we just keep going and keep going. And we've got it, we'll run teams into the ground. You really had to grind this one out, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, they're a good side. They play a bit of football. When they come here, to be fair, and they stuck four up front, it seemed, at times. So we've not so much rode the storm, but they've had a bit of possession and all that. But I thought in the second half, we completely dominated the game. And like I said, we've we've run all over. And the mid -tier, midfield too, especially, stopped their source, getting it to their dangerous wide, wide men. And then uh, we were on the front foot all half. At halftime, uh, Diamonds could have easily been up maybe uh, three, even four nil. Uh, the shots just weren't going in, especially by uh, Declan and also Tommy Burrick. Yeah, yeah, it's, it gets frustrating, but but like I've said, we, we just keep going. We, we've got a never say jo die attitude in that change room, and we knew if we if we kept getting the chances, one of our team players would have put it away. Well, exactly uh, by mid-second half, the game, to me at least, sort of had the feel of a nil-nil. But like you said, uh, Dunks was right there in the right place at the right time to get the game's first goal. And then, then an excellent goal by Tom Lorraine about 11 minutes later. Yeah, I mean, it was a great free kick from Deck, and Russell's just got away from his man and poked it in. But it was always going to be one of, those, one of those games that we needed, not such a scrappy goal, but a set piece. And then we knew from now as soon as we scored that first goal that's come a bit and I thought the second goal was a, was a great finish and it just proves that it's a squad game that we've got going it's not all about the starting 11 and individual players so I'm really pleased with Shanks he deserves that goal and I'm sure as a defender it always feels good to get a shutout a clean sheet here a good game by the back four as well as Finners yes uh, Matt kept in the game from the free kick obviously in the first half and uh, First and foremost, we say in the change rooms, if we give it, keep a clean sheet, it gives ourselves a massive chance of winning the games. And I thought as a back four and finners, and so much the midfield midfield four, we all um, worked as a unit. And I thought second half was a great defensive display as well. Well, uh, next up we have a, uh, an away match at Desborough. We beat them earlier this season, 5-0. Should we expect another 5-0 result? No, no. I mean, it'll always be tough, won't it? Teams will want to beat us, but we just keep going. This isn't... Like today's another one ticks off. We go there. We obviously know we've got a win, so um, we'll go there expecting to win like we do, but it'll be a very tough game, and we'll, we'll respect them, but again, we'll go for the win. Exactly. We've got a dozen games to go now. The, the, the uh, list uh, favors us, really, because I believe we've got seven home games, only uh, five away matches to go. Yeah, but they'll all be tough because teams will want to stop us getting promoted, so um, we've just got to take every every game at a time and then uh, see where we are in 12 games time well very good liam i'm seeing i'm seeing you so much here on afc rd tv i'm running out of questions for you but i, I believe on a personal note your nickname is bully uh, how did how did that come about it's, it's a very i've had it since i was three or four from my, my from my pap so um it's a weird one he had a bent finger couldn't they couldn't straighten it and I was, so you're used to it by now. yeah I was, I was being a naughty one boy one day and, and, and back then they could clout you couldn't they? and his finger went back back straight so yeah um I got my nickname from my oh. pap. So. Years ago, there was a song by uh, Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs, Wooly Bully. Do you remember that one? I can't. I don't. I haven't come across that one. Well, you'll have to look that one up on YouTube, but that's a great song, Wooly Bully by Sam the Sham. So, Well, very good, Liam. Uh, we'll see you next game. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Well, cheers, Bruce. Cheers, Liam. Andy, Liam's on the uh, telly as much as you are at the moment. He seems to be, mate. Yeah, getting a lot of awards. So, yeah, good, good for him. Yeah. You'd uh, go in a cut? What, of what he gets? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Right, 2-0. Good result? Yeah, great result, really, at home. Um, clean sheet. 
all's happy with that. And I thought we had some chances first half and we was a little bit more clinical second half. So, yeah, nice. Pleased with the three points. And uh, you know, it's a bit different to what we normally see, actually coming out of go at us today. Yeah, they didn't sit back at all. They played like almost like a 4-2-4 at times. So they had a gamble, so it was important. We did take our chances. And they're quite a dangerous side. So, yeah, brilliant win for us. And did their um, attacking mentality make it a more enjoyable game for our players, do you think? Uh, possibly. It was probably a little bit more open than some of the games. Um, obviously, a lot of teams do sit back here, which they didn't particularly do. So, uh, it's enjoyable when you win, isn't it? Full stop, however they play. You just want to win matches. And uh, nil-nil at half-time, but it could have so easily been 2 nil. Yeah, no, we had a couple of chances where we should have done better and the keepers made a couple of saves. So, I was quite happy at half-time because we were creating chances. Just said more of the same, but, you know, let's just convert one sooner rather than later. And then uh, first goal when it came, Dunks just uh, nicked one in off his ankle by the looks of it. He got a little touch at the right sort of place, which is great. Just what we needed, we had some good efforts that hadn't scored and then we score a goal like that, but at the end of the day, that's just what we needed. And he's been doing that for a few years. He's a master at it. Yeah. And uh, Tommy Berwick, uh, it's been a difficult start for him goal-wise. He's uh, not got any, basically, but uh, he's certainly trying hard. He's trying hard, he's running his socks off again, he's making his opportunities. He just needs a, a tap in, really, doesn't he? Mm. I've said to him, his rest of his game's good for me. The goals will come, not a problem at all. If he'd played when me and you played, he'd scored that one because he'd been square goalposts. Absolutely, he'd have gone off the post and in. No, <laughs> yeah, straight in. And, uh, I didn't play the same here as you, by the way. <laughs> Let's just get that straight. Yeah. I was a little bit after. Yeah, I didn't play at the same level as you, no one did. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second goal killed the game off, really. Yeah. Tom trying to break the net? No, he came on Tom again, didn't he? Caused a lot of problems like he did last week and took his goal, so he had one chance and scored. So, yeah, he'll be knocking at the door when it starts, I should think. So, with Old Beach uh, playing in the Vars and uh, losing, I think, we're now 11 points clear. Got to be pleased with that. Yeah, I, I keep saying the same thing. We've just got to win our games. I'm not worried about anybody else. I'm just worried about what we do. And uh, Richard came off quite early on. Any early uh, diagnosis on him? His hamstring was sore today. The pitch obviously was very heavy. Obviously, people, you know, brilliant job they've done today working on the pitch. So even the chairman was here with sand and spade this morning. So all hands to the pump, and they've got a pitch player. Well, obviously, it made it very heavy, and he could feel his hamstring. So I didn't want to take any risks with him. Similarly with Russell, his calf was a little bit tight late on, but it's a sapping pitch, so we didn't want to damage him anymore. And he had no qualms about bringing Richard off, even though he was controlling that midfield very well. Oh, he's great. And we know what a good player he is. We also know he struggles with injuries, so I've got to protect him the best I can. You know, he's got another week now till next week to hopefully get it sorted. Um, so it's just too much of a risk to leave him on, as important as he is. But you couldn't really ask for anybody better to slip into that role than Brad? No, Brad's fantastic wherever you play him. So he, he goes back, he goes in there, and he, he balances up really nicely in there as well. But equally, Charlie comes on again at right back, and again, he's you know doing a steady job there. So it's important we've got that squad depth, which I've said all along. And I think today, again, has proved we have got it. And Matt Gearing getting a start has been called for from certain sections of the crowd. Um, Elliot, not about, is he injured? Uh, Elliot's hurt his back. Um, he's been sore for a little while, so he didn't train this week. We've told him to have a week off. He was here, and it gave Matty an opportunity. I thought Matty did well. Say, completely different player to Elliot. Elliot, for me, carries the ball, gets up the field. Matty plays little one-twos and plays around people. You know, different again, and deck the other side. So we've got options all over, which is exactly what I want. And uh, Kongi. Uh, joining in from midfield, he was unlucky not to get a goal today. Yeah, he's another one really. Who's you know he scores a lot of goals. Him, you look at him, Declan and Tommy Berwick. All three of them are goal scorers. They're not actually scoring at the moment. So you know, fingers crossed, they're going to all hit some form as well. Goal scoring form in the next little while, and that give us more goals to go by. But just as important, given our penchant for giving away silly goals, uh, clean sheet. Finners will be pleased with that. Yeah, no, it's important. Clean sheets are brilliant. I always want that as a defensive sort of player myself. Clean sheets, I look at. Um, we've got a few this year. We look at the goals against. We've done okay. Finn is obviously massively enjoys that. But I think yeah, the back four was good again today. Two centre halves are commanding. Um, didn't give them a lot of opportunities. Um, so that's yeah, great. You've always got a chance if you keep clean sheets. So Valentine's Day today. Your um, missus got a nice surprise for you when you get home. Yeah, I'm going out. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's working today, so we'll have a night in. Take away. So, all in all, good performance. And uh, you're not looking to offload anybody to Crawley? Not to Crawley, no. Uh, they don't want our players and we certainly don't want theirs. So, we'll leave it at that at the moment. Cheers. Well, we move on to Desborough next week, Andy. Going to be another tough test. And uh, we look forward to seeing your happy smile again. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm